Hello everyone. So in this video, I bought a motherboard from eBay. It was $29.95 LJ1155 motherboard. I don't know if it came with a CPU or comes with a CPU, but it did come with some RAM, IO shield, and some screws. I bought this motherboard to test the CPU that came in my $80 computer that I bought a while ago. It's an i7-3770. This is the board that the computer came with. So it turns out that the board is definitely not working. I've tried everything. No bent pins, reset CMOS, different RAM, and it just doesn't turn on. Uh, doesn't want to do anything. So I figured that if maybe the board is bad, maybe the CPU is good. So I went ahead and bought this board to, you know, see if this is a good CPU. It is an i7-3770, so that CPU is still very good today. It can be used for gaming, light work, stuff like that. And I just want to make sure if it works. And it was the cheap board, $30. And uh, it looks like it may come with a CPU, I don't know. I just got the package right now. I'm gonna unbox this, open it up, and see what we get for 30 bucks. And hopefully our i7-3770 works. That'll be really good to know if it actually works. So yeah, let me go ahead and uh, show you the board. All right, so this is the board I received from eBay. As you can see, it is dirty, dirty, dirty. Look at all that dust. That's crazy. Um, so the seller didn't even bother to clean it, so I'll have to do that. But it was 30 bucks, you know, can't complain. It came with some RAM. Let's see, I think it was like four gigs. Mm -hmm. Doesn't say, oh, maybe here. No, it doesn't say uh, the capacity. Not that I can see. Maybe on the other side. Nope, so I have no idea what the size is. My guess it's four gigs probably. That's my guess, four gigs of RAM. So yeah, and the question that I that I was asking myself was, does it come with a CPU? Uh, it doesn't say anything about having a CPU in there, but it came with a cooler install, so I'm guessing it probably has one. Uh, boy, look at this IO shield. That is messed up. But let's see if it has one. I'm gonna tilt it, see if we get some extra like free tech in here. And it looks like we, there's no CPU. That's fine. Let me just remove the cooler. He probably left the cooler on uh, to protect the pins if he didn't have a CPU cover. Probably that's what I would do. But I would always like tape it up or something. This, hopefully I don't bend the pins. Oh, wow, it actually did come with a CPU. Look at that. Look at that nice dust all around that board. Super nice. You can eat stuff from this, you know? Wow, I'm just kidding. That is gross. <sighs> oh, well, I mean, 30 bucks if it works. I did see another issue on this board here. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a big problem, but DV, the DVI port is like kind of bent upwards. I just bent it back a little bit. It was like up, but then I just bent it back a bit like this. Oh, well, but hey, we got a free CPU. It has in the description of this uh, listing, it said nothing about a CPU. So I bought it. Uh, I went with this because... It came with some RAM, a cooler, and an IO shield, and a board for 30 bucks. There was a, I think it was an ASUS board that had two, the same, two RAM slots, but it didn't come with uh, a cooler or RAM. So this was actually a better deal because I get RAM and a cooler. And now it turns out I get a CPU as well. So let me clean this up. See what kind of CPU we get here. Kind of excited. I was actually wondering what kind of CPU. My guess is probably like an i3 or a Pentium. You know, just a really low end CPU. And what do we get? Yep, Pentium G2030. I guess that. 
That's probably like a five dollar chip, probably six dollars. Hey, if it was free, you know, oh well. Anyways, let's find out. Well, actually, let's see if this board works. It came really messy, so I'm gonna find out if this actually works before I try my i7. And uh, let me clean this up a bit. So I'm gonna clean this up, see if it boots with the CPU, just if it works, you know. And uh, then I'll try my CPU, the i7, and we're finally gonna find out if it works. Well, I'm gonna find out if it works or not. We know the board doesn't work, so hopefully the CPU works. Um, so yeah, I'll be right back. All right, so this is the board kinda cleaned. Just remove all the dust. Now it looks a little better. And I have plugged it into my power supply here, my test power supply. Anyways, let me go ahead and turn this on and see if the board that I bought from eBay works. All right, so we're getting a boot. Display, yes sir. So the port does work, computer does work, and perfect. Now, let me turn this off, install my i7-3770, the CPU that came with this board, and uh, we're gonna find out if both of these are dead. The board is dead, but we're gonna find out if the CPU works. All right, let me install this and uh, we'll try it. All right, so I have the i7 installed. It's a moment of truth for me. Uh, if the i7 does not work, if the CPU that I installed, the CPU that came with this board does not work, that's unfortunate. Um, I will keep the board. I don't wanna be that person that buys something and to test something and return it. I'm gonna keep it. It did come with a CPU. I actually do have a CPU for this too that I bought to test the board. This one, uh, it was an i3. So I'll just keep this board. It can be a good board to like, uh, you know, test some older CPUs. Um, or I can still build a, you know, budget PC for like light gaming. But if it does work, the i7, that would be amazing. Um, I need some good news, you know. So let me power this on and uh, hopefully this works. I'm going to jump it right here. After I turn the power supply switch on, because that's how it works. All right, now let me try it. Okay, we're booting. This little orange light will tell me, and yes, yes. Okay, W moment, W, 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 W. So, it turns out that this board was actually bad. I tried everything to try to fix it. I thought it was the i7 CPU, but it wasn't. It was actually the board that went. It gave up on me or the person that owned it before I bought it. And uh, maybe that's why they sold their computer for 80 bucks. But now I know the CPU works. And now I have a pretty decent startup for a gaming computer here. I just need, you know, Change the RAM to 16 gigs, so two 8 gig sticks. We got an i7 3770. Install it. Install a uh, GTX 1060 or 1070. Even a 1080 will be fine. Or 1660 will be fine too on this uh, build. That would be like a really good 1080p gaming computer for a sibling or just anybody in my family that needs a computer. Um, I, I don't sell my computers, I, any parts that I build, I either give them to family members that need them or I keep them, um, if I ever need them. So, yeah, it works. Uh, it's awesome. I'm happy. Once again, thank you guys for watching my videos. If you liked this video, let me know. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh... Yeah, but it's a happy moment for me right now. The CPU works. And uh, now I don't have to, you know, keep it behind my head. Does the CPU work? 
I just bought the motherboard and it works. Awesome. Alright, see you guys in the next video. Bye.